Okay, I had to come and say something. You, you'll be able to hear the background and the construction guys are there for the, maybe they're doing a three and four situation, I don't know. But they are there jamming, knocking things down, dropping the, it's so freaking noisy. But the other construction site, there is, um, there was one guy out there earlier that was moving some stuff. But the whole thing is in a construction thing, you can be waiting on an inspection. You could be waiting for, you know, like uh, if you have to have the the people who build the walls come next or whatever. Each one is a separate group. That's why the contractor is supposed to be the one who brings them all together. He's the nucleus of all of the builders so or all of the workmen. So he has to coordinate it all. And so there could be reasons behind that. There could be a lot of things holding it up. I'm going to hope it's banks. <laughs> hope something's happening. Um, but there was a couple things I wanted to talk about real quick. So I was outside and um, the planes kept going and going and going and going. So I started looking up trying to see if I could see any of the planes because there were so many. It was insane. So I kept looking up trying to see. And when I did... I saw a giant halo again. It is, and this isn't the sun. The last time I thought it was the sun. And this is what gives me a different perspective on it now. Because this thing is, it's again, not the other fake sun. But this isn't the regular sun. This is something else. But it has that intense heat. So, I don't know. Maybe they have lenses they can put over it. Maybe they're trying something because they watch social media. And they know that we... Especially, I've been seeing it's silver. It's a blue light. And so, you know, I don't know. I mean, they do watch us. They do listen to us. They, everything is artificial. You know, Ed Harris will accommodate us. And so, anyways, I look up and I see the halo thing again. Only it's super, super dark. And uh, so, I was getting a bunch of footage of it. And planes just kept going and going and going like passing each other it was so loud with all of these planes going so i was like what the hell so they're really trying to cover this thing up so i kept trying to get footage of it and then i was like well i wonder because you can't tell where it's at and when it's in an opening and stuff so i um was trying to get some footage you know and saying some stuff about it and put it on tiktok and then um i went out and started um Oh, oh, I was going to walk to the end of the driveway. I did walk to the end of the driveway. And that's when I saw it was directly above my street right then. So I ran back down and I got my phone. Oh, because I was digging rocks up. That's what it was. I was working on rocks. And so I um, ran back and got my phone and I ran out there. And I went out into the middle of the street. See, me seeing me do weird shit has got to be waking some neighbors up. Because they are always watching me. So... Um, anyway, so I go out in the street and I start filming it. You could not get the whole thing in the camera at once. That's how big it is. So think about how far they tell us the sun is. We could get, I could get this whole sun thing in there, but I couldn't get this whole halo thing. It's very distinct too. And so you can see like the inside is very dark. Well, it's got the, the it, it's like an eyeball. It's trippy. And the iris part is kind of a purplish color. I kind of feel like, like a deep purple, like a bruise-ish kind of purple when you first get one. So it's like grayish, dark, blackish purple, you know? And then it has the line going around it. Like if you go up to our eyes, you know, there's a, there's a line that kind of goes around it. The same with the earth. Everything is micro macro. So, you know, we're in this experience. We're projected in. It has to do with the whole thing. With sight, seeing, senses, the earth, the shape, everything. I think this eyeball is something. So, I um, went and, you know, got my thing. And I was trying to film it. But I couldn't get it all in there. And then I saw that the clouds, wherever they were manufacturing, was now covering it. At first, it looks like a haze, just like a little haze. But then it turns into a giant cloud. 
because they just, one, go, one goes by, sprays a certain chemical, the other one goes by, sprays a certain chemical, the other one goes by, sprays a certain chemical. It doesn't matter what happens to us in the process. Ah, who cares about them? Get rid of a couple more of them. Um, so it starts becoming like this cloud thing, but I was going over to let the dogs out. So I laid down on the ground <laughs> out by the road. I didn't lay in the middle of the road because who knows if I could move fast enough and get ran over. So I laid down at the edge of it. So I was all the way on the ground holding my thing. I still couldn't get it all the way inside the camera. So I don't know. Is it, I mean, on which side of this, you can see the sun. Is it translucent? Like there's something to this, you know, and maybe this is the cosmic event that, you know, they're trying to make us not see or something. Maybe this is the pressure that's building from what's going to be explosive that's going to change everything. You know, where they talk about this big solar flash and the water rising and stuff like that. But there's definitely something. If you can go out and see if you have any opportunity in the daytime where you have a place where you can have an open place to see it, you can definitely see this giant halo thing. And I did a bunch of footage of it. And then, um, you know, they, just these clouds covered and then there was none ever. It was this huge amount right here where they spread, where the stuff was going. And then they went over it and you couldn't, well, it was starting to cover it. It was really trippy looking too. I got some footage of that because it looks like something going through an eyeball. It's really weird. But the line going around like the iris part looks like a rainbow. It's very gold and it's got like a, a pinkish and orangish kind of, it looks totally rainbow, which Everything, like I've said before, like it's a honeycomb. Everything's a honeycomb. And everything, if 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 our eyes, if we quit being able to see the illusion, the image, everything is just those little color boxes that creates color through to make the projection. And it's all based on reson everything is based on this resonance and movement and a vibration. But everything has color and movement and it's the projection that you go through to create yourself, if that makes any sense. So that's how I see it. And so anyways, it was out there and um, they're covering the whole thing like right then, right in front of me. So there's definitely something that they are trying to block. And while I was downloading it, you know, a video starts playing while you're doing that. And this girl came on and she was, so many people now, <laughs> as they're all speaking out, you know, they're all losing the count after count and they're all being shadow banned and everything is going on now that, you know, some of us were dealing with for a while. But, um, so this girl, she started a podcast and she seems to be some sort of herbalist. Maybe she has biology background or something. I mean, she knows what she's talking about when she talks. She uses all the right words and stuff. And so she was saying, you know how I keep saying that they they monitor everything and we're all like lab rats and they keep track of all these different things. Well, she has a podcast talking about that where she's got proof and stuff. So that was another confirmation for me. Because I can see it. I, I see it in my head. They show me. I know it. I know what they're doing. But when I hear these people say, you know, that they've got the information, you know, that they're showing it. So they are um, tracking. And there's a bunch of experiments going on. And they do everything like, how does this poison affect them? How, do, how does this frequency affect them? All of that stuff that they track. And they have a certain way of doing it. So... I can look up what her podcast is. I see her all the time on TikTok and she was talking about she's getting shadow banned and stuff. So it might be hard to find her. But if anybody is interested in going and listening to somebody, you know, give them the facts and show them the data behind the, this kind of stuff. It's available. I'm, I just say this stuff because they show me and I know it's real. I know I'm not a crazy person. They show me shit all the time. Sometimes things take longer than other things, but, you know, I, I know that they are doing this. 
I know that they are tracking. I know this is a giant lab. It's just a giant fucking experiment. That's all, all that's going on here. But there's so it's so much more complicated. So I don't like to just get caught up in that part because we all come here willingly. We come here for this experience. Even if some of us didn't come for some of the other dark shit through this Piscean age, we're here for this experience right here, right now. And we can have clarity and see what has led us to this place right here, right now. And it is a lot of learning and it's a lot of darkness and a lot of, but, but that's what it was about, you know, this two sides, the yin and the yang, the, the dark and the light so that you can begin to see, you know, that it, it works together to create balance. There is no bad or good without each other. They need each other to find balance. That's why everything that goes on in our lives, no matter what it is, if you've got issues with drinking or smoking or eating or anything like that, it's all about balance. It's about finding balance. There's just something that's out of whack. So when you can find your own balance, and some people have a really hard time, like, you know, and then plus you're fighting against chemicals and stuff here that interfere with all of your natural settings. So it is like you have to constantly realign, realign. You have to be so set on who you are because they want to keep on, you know, pulling you, pulling you in every direction, confusing you, keeping you unstable. So you can't heal. So you can't be prepared because something, something's coming. I don't know. How long? I don't know how it's all going to go down. Like, I see certain things. Like, um, now I'm seeing more and more. Like, when I was seeing this stuff about recycling. And I was telling people for years. And nobody was listening. And now I see so many people talking about it. And, you know, that they were... The whole thing with the plastic bottles is all a fucking scam. I mean, all of them make money off of plastic bottles, these corporations. They don't care if they pollute the world. They don't care if they kill a goddamn town with cancer. They fucking want their plastic bottles because they just want to sell us shit. It's just sell us shit. Everything has to come in a pl plastic container. Wasn't well, that weird? So you care about us. You care about the environment so much. You're going to go to all, all of this freaking extremes for the planet, but you're not going to goddamn take care of it for one little bit. Like, it, they, their hypocrisy, their lying, their manipulation, everything about them is showing so much. The truth is just showing. Like, it is right before our eyes. And, um, you know, another thing, too, I was going to say when I was out there, I was thinking about the, you know, the development of more communities and I was thinking you know like in the gold rush where people had to you know go they thought that they were going to get a better life and they all had they all went they all left they all left what was familiar and safe and they went in the hopes of something new and bigger and better that's what people got to get that spirit back that spirit of you know exploration of trust and you know people are just so beat down it's going to take a lot for people to get there. But, you know, there's some of us who are, you know, ready to help people or lead people in the direction of healing and developing what comes next. Because it's going to be a big step. I mean, there's people that want to hold on so, so tight. And we have to let go the whole time. I've been, <laughs> I've been saying this since the beginning. You can't hold on. This is, this is ending. You can't hold on to it. It's going to be gone. Your arms are going to get ripped off with it. If you're trying to hold on to something that's going away, you know? So we have to release it and we have to see the future. And for people who can't see the future, there's those of us who can see the future. And we have to help people get the vision of what can be there, what, what the possibilities are. You know, that's part of being a creator and then, you know, people are going to get so much better and start feeling better and healing and things will develop and things will spread and get bigger. But there's, you know, seems like there's going to be some rough patches here for a bit. And, um, you know, I, who knows? 
what's the deal with this giant eye in the sky situation? You know, whatever it is, it's something different. And I'm wondering too, like all those years back ago where I was getting that footage and I kept showing that there was something up there. I wish I had those pictures, but geez, what was that, five phones ago? So I wish I had those pictures now. In my Facebook account, I couldn't even get into that anyways because whoever hacked it, they had all the rights, Facebook told me. So, um, so... Uh, it, those pictures though I in comparison like if you were to think of that like for the people who think of like wormwood or Nerubu or whatever if it was this planetary system that was coming towards us and is that much closer or something like I don't know but I know that I could lay on the ground and it wouldn't all fit on my fucking thing at once it was sticking out on the edges so it's pretty big and seems to be getting bigger. I mean, that's definitely what they're trying to cover because I watched them do it. So, anyways, just go out and try and see the stuff. I don't, you know, there's so much about this. Is just wait and see, wait and see. It's a need to know basis. It's like your higher self. Some people's higher self tells them more stuff. I, you know, I think it's very um, individual. You know, and some people get these dreams, but some of these people have these dreams and then the dreams don't happen. So timelines are shifting and, you know, we're really, we're really in, in flux in movement in, in, in this movement towards change and everything is fluctuating and moving and changing. And so I don't know. I just know something big's coming and I know that there's nothing to fear. Because we are eternal and there's nothing that will hurt us. That we're here to experience this for some reason. <laughs> and it seems exciting when you focus on that aspect of it. When you get focused on the fear part, then it's like, what the fuck am I doing here? When you get focused on the supernatural, like what the hell is happening? Like the world is showing itself as being supernatural. And they're trying to cover it up and keep telling us, no. Oh, no, we're trying to block the sun so you don't all die. <laughs> like, you're such liars. God, can you imagine? Oh, how do you be such liars? And um, I just saw, I'll just do this real quick too, because I saw um, they got the freaking celebrity celebrities out now telling us what we need to do about guns and telling us what we need to, all this stuff. And to me, like if I was a celebrity, I'd keep my damn mouth shut. I'll tell you that. I wouldn't be saying shit. And they are, um, I mean, they just, it, it just exposes them as just being totally corrupted spokespeople for the cabal. I mean, especially at this point, it just shows you, are you just an idiot? Are you a zombie? Do you have no awareness of this world? And you're out there, you know, and of course, Michael Rappaport is one of them. And the thing is, is um, he looks like he has ran out of some chrome or something because he looks like, what the hell happened to you? You look like you're about to die. He looks super, super skinny. His face looked really drawn in. He had like marks on his face. He just looked really like, I don't know what you think somebody who had cancer or something looks like. Just really like... Like, kind of like that. And he's still spouting off. He's just such a... And, and I used to like him so much when I was... um Probably when I was progressive. All the people that were, you know, saying stuff that I agreed with. I just didn't know it was all, you know, I didn't know it was all a sham. <laughs> I was being scammed the whole time. I thought we were just moving towards a progressive way of being where it was peaceful and... I thought it was moving towards unity at the time. I thought, you know, that we need to move away from this control of the church because so many people, like, that's how I always saw the conservatives was just like wanted everything to be about the church. It was like, well, if you're not about religion and you see that as hypocrisy and you see a lot of phony people who participate, then that's not the direction I want to go. I didn't even realize I was conservative and still until I started hearing some of the other people's views who got also labeled conservative. Some of them are proud with the label and title or whatever. 
I'm just saying these labels are just bullshit anyway. And, um, but some of those people, they were all really proud to be called a conservative and stuff. But when they were talking about like how they felt about things, I was like, well, that's how I feel about things. Well, that's what I look at it like. That's what I think. So that's why labels are ridiculous. It just confines us. It defines us. It traps us. When we just sit here and listen to the people in our group that we think we agree with, and we don't even know to the depth. We're not, I mean, we're all just up on the surface. Nobody's going deeper. We just stay up here where it's safe, agreeing on nonsense and being led by, you know, these celebrity spokespeople for the cabal or something. So anyways, um, there's just, uh, I don't know, there's so much nonsense going on. I swear to God, you could just sit all day long and talk about some of this stuff. But anybody who wants to know about that, um, podcast I'll I'll look it up and I'll get more information if anyone's interested because I do see her all the time on TikTok and if you want to follow her on TikTok um she does do a lot of stuff about herbs and um I think about foraging and stuff but she talks about certain chemicals that will really uh not chemicals but compounds and I think like herbal compounds that can really help us to diffuse some of these chemicals that they're putting in. And she talks like about the DNA and how certain groups are having certain things. Like she goes into depth about it if anyone's interested. So I can just tell you there's a problem. I can just alert you. I'm like Stella. I'm going around sniffing and then she'll just stop. There's a problem right here. Right here. <laughs> That's me. So, okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye.